I didn't hit record. <laughs> All kinds of technical issues today. All right, so I'm wetting with water that should be cleaner, but I had yellow in my brush. Nice clean water so I can do a wet into wet. I'm carefully going over all the edges so I have a nice clean line where all the edges are. I want a nice good coat of water everywhere. Let me lean down a little bit, make sure that this is getting some puddling right here. So I'm gonna pick up just a little bit of that. All right, he looks, his whole doggy parts are wet and I can see the shine, I can see that it's moving. I know I'm gonna to come to something kinda of like this where I get all those different bright colors on there, inspired by where they are on here. You should probably have your image up on your computer when you're doing this part, so you can see those things. And I'm going to work mostly in bright colors, so I'm going to um, use I'm thinking of him as a yellow dog. I'm going to use pretty pure colors. And I think of him as a yellow dog, so I'm getting a lot of yellow on my brush. And I'm going to kind of map in. So let's see, in these lighter areas, I had a lot of yellow here. Oh, look at it. It's already spreading beautifully for me. Yellow here. I had some yellow kind of on the sides here. Now this is lighter, so I'm going to let a little bit of that lighter go. And then I had yellow coming in here. There was some yellow around his eyes here. And this was yellowy. And because I have this nice, um, coat of water, get a good clean coat of water on your brush. Let's see, this was yellow. And then down here was really yellowy. It's all flowing how I want it to. So I can get up to that edge and let the rest flow. And I gotta work kinda quick here. This is why we're doing this all in a day. Now I'm gonna take some orange. This is gonna seem drastic, cause it's darker. And I'm gonna get around those edges and places where I had orange. And then let that flow in there. So there was some orange in here. And let's see, I had orange down here. Need a little more. And I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna add other colors and other details later. So that's why I'm cool with this like swishing and moving. And actually it's moving nicer than it did the other day when I did my sample. So maybe it's okay to have to wet it a couple times, huh? And this was here. And because I do want bright colors, I do want a good amount of pigment on the brush. Now I'm keeping it warm, so I'm kind of like following my warmer tones. And I had just a little bit of red in certain spots. Not a ton, it seems like, where I had, let's see, this was his collar. I'm gonna come back and add that later, but this was a little bit of red in here. I had a little red down here. Maybe a little bit in this shadow. So I think it's kind of working well to do these warmer colors first. This was a lot more red and orange now that I look at this. So maybe I'll do like a red orange in there. I want it to be a little lighter. So I'm gonna put this in here. This is more orangey. And I'm going to let this just kind of move and play. I'm not so concerned about it exactly going where it needs to go. Now, around his schnout and the bottom here, I had some green. So this is going to be scary. You ready? Oh my gosh, this is green? What? What is happening? And then in here, there was some green. Before it came to the blue, I had some green around his snout here. This is why I'm saying you're going to want to have your um, your reference photo open for where you have the colors. And remember, you can exaggerate these colors too. Where else did I have green? Looks like there was a little bit up here. So what I'm kind of doing is just looking at shadows at this point because I don't remember exactly with my my bright colors but I want the bright color. So now in his ears, I had, 
I had a purple, I think. Whoa, this is dark. Oh no, what do I do? I can lift some off. So take your brush and just set it in there and lift some off of there if it's too much. I'm not sure why that panic caused an accent of some kind, but hey. So actually, I'm going to say wet it, let it soak in and wet it again. That actually worked really well. And then he's got like his little, almost like eyebrowy things that kind of come in here. It's a little darker around here. I kind of want some blue. Put some blue just in here. What if I add some like dots of blue up his up his nose? Going up the snout. I'm not putting anything in the poor dog's nose. What are you thinking? Come on, people. This did I didn't go all the way around, did I? There's some dark here, and there's some dark here. So I'm looking at my image and I'm finding out where those dark shadows are. And I want this to blend. It looks like it needs a little touch more water here to blend. This needs some color. What color we got here? Maybe oh, his eyebrows needed to highlight the eyebrows a bit. Let's put some green in here. So I want to keep the values as much the same as I can. You can change the color, but you can't change the value is a, gen a good general rule. Let's get some color in here. Maybe a little bit of yellow green. It's gotten a little bit muddy. All right, so I want this to blend. Now see how it's drying and it's not blending right there? So I wanna come in and add just a touch of water on my brush, just a little so that this continues to blend. If it doesn't, if it kind of changes, all right, I don't care. Remember, we're playing in here. Bubble. I would like a little more color here. But I like that it's lighter. So maybe I'll just kind of put a little bit to set that edge and then pick up some water. But what I'm doing is I'm trying to keep my edges nice and clean on the outside there. And I'm loving that everything's just moving in here. I like that. I want it to move and grow and change and do things. So your goal today and is one, to get your edges nice and clear, get the wet into wet in there, let it, um, let us kind of like that. Let it move and grow and not get too upset. If this is like, so this is a little bit darker here maybe than I wanted, I can pick it up. And then maybe I get a little more water or I just let it blend. It's actually, it's starting to move. Remember the leave it alone principle. Leave it alone. If it starts to just, you know, you're not quite sure, back off. We're gonna go back and add details on top. But the goal today is really just to get the wet into wet happening. So look at that. It was, it was as Bob Ross would say, a happy accident. The fact that I wet it and then kind of let it go and wet again, it blended much more, much, the wet into wet was much nicer than the first time when I did it. So get a good amount of water and then check it and do a little good amount of water again and let the colors move and blend and let stuff happen and it's okay if it's bright. And when it looks like you've got all these colors in, now see it's starting to dry on me now. You can't take too long. Just, just let it go. Let it be, let it be. For you old people, that would be Beatles. You guys would probably be more frozen. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. That kind of thing. So I'm building it up, but I'm giving like a base layer, and I want it to move and blend and do its own thing. I don't want it to be perfect. I don't. Okay? When you feel like you got it covered and you're feeling like you need to adjust little tiny things, that's when you're like, leave it alone. You can fix a couple things. Back up. Let it go. 